Hello everyone, this is Wild Lamb here. In today's Fuji Friday, we're going to talk about how you can edit your RAW files from your XC3 in Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Photoshop. Adobe has just updated their converter, so now their Adobe Digital Negative Converter will work with the XT3. So all we need to do now is download the converter, install it, and then we can take the XT3's RAW file, which is proprietary to Fuji, and we can convert it to a DNG file, which is Adobe's open standard format for RAW files. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows Converter because I am on a Windows PC. And once that's downloaded, I can go ahead and install it and then start working with the files. Also, you'll notice that there's other popular cameras that just came out that will work with this converter, the Canon EOS R and the Nikon Z7. So those are definitely very popular cameras that just came out that can take advantage of this raw converter. So the install file just got done installing, so let's go ahead and install it onto our PC. Once it's done installing, you can see the Adobe DNG converter. I'm going to minimize the browser, and there is the icon. Double click on it, and this pops up. It asks me to select where I have my raw files, so I'm going to be in D, raw, XT3, I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to output to a different folder because I want to keep those separate. Select it. If you click on the Preferences button, the only one that's important is your Camera Raw version, and you can easily check that in your Lightroom application. Just go to Help, About, and then you can see it right up here. It says Camera Raw version 10.5, so I have the latest one. So in my so in my compatibilities drop down I can select the latest one and that'll work for me and then I can go ahead and hit the convert button. I only have one RAF file to convert. So once that's done, I can go ahead and open up Lightroom to see if that conversion worked well for me. So in Lightroom, I'm just going to go ahead hit the import button. I'm going to go ahead and select my file which is in raw and then DNG and there is my raw file. I can go ahead and edit this image now and all the images that I've saved for quite a while and I can see what this camera can really do so that's great. This is going to be a very usable workaround for us for the people that have the Duos hardware. I'm going to go ahead and start editing some of my raw files that I've been saving for quite a while. This is definitely a very easy workaround until Lightroom updates and can support these raw files natively. So hopefully you have found this useful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. As for me, I'm going to go ahead and start playing around with this and see what I can actually get out of all these raw files.